Good morning, everybody. I hope you're well. For the last couple of days, for some reason, more than usual, I've been getting a lot of memories pop up on my social media, and nothing tickles me more than seeing Sebastian when he's a little itty bitty baby and then looking at him now and comparing. It makes me smile so big to see him so itty bitty. So I think I'm gonna take the morning off. Just the morning, don't worry, I have a full vlog. We have something really special that we're putting out later today. We wanna give back a little bit, but that's for later. So for now, this morning, I wanna take a little trip down memory lane and share some really cute, adorable pictures and videos of Sebastian. So come with me through his first five years. Starting off strong, right out of the gate, we have the first time we ever heard Sebastian cry. I think he was maybe four days old. Up to this point, he had been intubated. He had a breathing tube down his throat, kind of sedated. He hadn't opened his eyes yet. We, hit, we literally, there was like no signs of interaction from him. We really weren't quite sure what to expect from him at this point um, because he was so sick and in dire need of a heart surgery. But we do have a video of Gio changing his diaper when he was itty bitty tiny little baby in the NICU before his first heart surgery where we finally heard his tiny little cry. So enjoy. Just fold them back so that it doesn't stick to anything else because it's Velcro. cream may not come off right all, all the way, but that's okay. It, for, you know, puts like a barrier. Aww. <laughs> you can get some pictures. Up for you find the back side. He hates getting his diaper changed, I think. His diaper's so big, too. Well, he's too big for the smaller size towel. Mm -hmm. That makes you feel better. Uh -huh. See? <laughs> All done. And he's not fussy. I'm only one video in to the memories and I'm already crying. <laughs> oh my god. Look at how cute he was. He's so itty bitty. I think he was only, okay, get it together. He was only three pounds. He was four days old. And at that point, um, just looking through my memories, I don't think we even had the chance to hold him yet because, um, all right, get it together, girl. Sebastian, his heart wasn't regulated. And when he got too stimulated, his heart rate would spike up and his body wasn't pumping enough blood and oxygen to his body. So we couldn't really hold him or stimulate him too much. But obviously if he needs a diaper change, he needs a diaper change. And that was Gio's first time he ever changed a diaper ever in his life. So what a really special, cute little memory. The next video I have is Gio holding Sebastian for the very first time. I'm not sure that I have a video of me holding him for the first time. I'll have to check. I know I have pictures, but I don't know if we ended up getting a video because I'm usually the one, I'm the memory maker. I'm usually the one that subjects everybody to being in front of the camera or being behind the camera. So um, the next video is Gio holding Sebastian for the first time at five days old. The next videos I have and pictures are of us asking Gio's brother and sister to be Sebastian's godparents. So we have a little video of Ivan um, and Cindy, Gio's sister. Ivan, we wrote on a diaper because that was kind of all we could do at the time if he would be his godfather. And then Cindy, I think we gave her a onesie, a little NICU onesie. I'll have to see if I can find a picture of that. But then right after that, Cindy also got to change Sebastian's diaper for the first time. I think that might have also been the first time she had ever changed a diaper. I'm not sure, but 
Here's the videos. <laughs> yes. You can keep it. <laughs> Put it on his butt to prevent him He's getting a little rash. Like, no booty. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have much to he put He doesn't even on. have a little booty. You don't even got a booty. You better have your mom's booty. Look at this. I, I can't. He already has some back there. It's okay. Okay, the next video we have, Sebastian, I believe, was 14 days old, maybe 11 days. I don't really quite remember. It was the first time that Sebastian had enough energy to open his eyes. It was the first time we ever saw his eyes and we were so curious to see what color his eyes were because I have green eyes. Gio kind of has brownish green eyes, but Gio's dad has blue eyes. So we were just curious, like what color are his eyes going to be? Obviously they're brown, but I think I should probably maybe put a trigger warning too. It was right after his first heart surgery and it was very, very traumatic. So Sebastian's body is a reflection of the trauma that he went through, but it's still such a special memory to us because it's the first time we actually got to look at him. Now, right after Sebastian had his first heart surgery, he had a couple of days where he was doing really good. He finally, I think after two weeks, was able to get the breathing tube out, and he really started to kind of wake up and look around and respond. So you'll see that in the next video where he's kind of moving his mouth around. He's used to having that breathing tube in his throat, which he started to suck on, kind of like it was a binky. And then when they took the tube out, he was looking for it. Um, unfortunately, the progress that he was making didn't last very long because the original heart surgery that they gave to him reversed itself. And I think the following month, it was maybe like five weeks after his first heart surgery, he ended up having to have another. But this next video is that sweet spot in between where we started to see him respond just a little bit before things took a turn again. You looking for that tube? They took it out. Yeah. Hi. Hello. <laughs> How are you, my sleepy baby? Hi. Sebastian. <laughs> Sebastian. Hi. Uh, excuse me, sleepyhead. I'm talking to you. <laughs> excuse me, sleepyhead. <laughs> what are you looking for? <laughs> what? Hi. Hello. What are you doing? You like that? Like the next couple of videos are kind of a blur. It's just a mixture of Sebastian kind of regressing after heart surgery. 
he initially had the breathing tube out and then his heart started to regress again. So they put him on the CPAP machine, which is the mask kind of over his nose and on his head. And then unfortunately they had to put the breathing tube in again. And then you can kind of see him start to swell up a little bit. He was on a lot of heart medication at that time. So his face and his whole entire body started to get really, really puffy. You awake? Yeah. Hi, baby. Is it too bothering you? I know. <laughs> Say hi, Dad. Look at those biceps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Someone's getting his treatment. <laughs> yeah, he likes it. He's a big sleepy head. These next videos, I believe they were after his second heart surgery. He was doing okay. He still, we knew that he still needed a third, but he was okay. And we got to put clothes on him for the very first time. Nice. What are you chewing on? <laughs> what are you chewing on? He looks so good. <laughs> Hi. This next video probably means like the world to us because it was the first time we ever got to see Sebastian smile. He was going through a lot. There was not a lot of time for smiles at the time. I think it was around Christmas time. He, so he's probably like two, two and a half months old. Um, that's the first time we ever got to see his cheeky little grin. <laughs> Hi, Sebastian. Hi, Sebastian. Hi. How are you, honey? Hi, Sebastian. Hi. How are you? You ready to get your milkies? Yeah. And then finally, after 121 days, I think, in the hospital, we were able to bring Sebastian home. Brand new parents, um, very nervous. I can tell by watching the videos back, we were just kind of laughing out of anxiety coming home to oxygen and a feeding pump and he had an ng tube feeding tube in his nose and a pulse ox to measure you know his heart rate and, and his oxygen levels at home it was all brand new to us but we were so excited after three and a month three and a half months to finally have him home it everything feels like a blur but it i remember it being the best just having him home First car ride. <laughs> Going home. Sebastian's first night at home was pretty traumatizing. Um, I don't think I slept at all because I was terrified that he was gonna like stop breathing or something. He was in a little bassinet right next to us. And I remember just waking up and checking him constantly 
even though he had a pulse ox on his foot that would like let us know if something was wrong, I just couldn't sleep. I kept waking up and turning my flash on and trying to check his chest and make sure that he was still breathing. Also the onesie that he's in, that he slept in for his first night at home, I'm pretty sure we still have that. I'm gonna see if I do have it still. I'm gonna go look for it. This is that onesie you see him wearing in the video you just saw. It's the first onesie he ever slept in, his first sleep at our house. It's a size preemie, I believe, and it was still kind of big on him then. Just to give you a perspective of, you know what I mean? Like, it's he was itty bitty. He always looks bigger on camera for some reason. He's right over here. <laughs> Look at how much bigger he is now. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? He's over here just relaxing with me while I go through all these videos. Unfortunately, we're both kind of sick today. We both caught whatever Geo has, so we're not feeling the best. <sighs> both sore throats and I can tell his nose is kind of stuffy, but look at that. Look how big you are. Oh my goodness, he's so handsome. Yeah, that's your onesie. Oh my goodness. You're such a tough boy. You're so strong. Yeah, you're so strong. Okay, bye. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What are you smiling about? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna get you, Belly. I'm gonna get you, Belly. <laughs> I'm gonna get you, Belly. <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Keep laughing. Keep laughing. And don't be totally off me. <laughs> and don't be totally off me. As you can probably tell in that last video, Sebastian's color was still really off. He was still pretty blue in the face and still pretty, pretty puffy because even though he was home, we knew that he would need a third heart surgery. So he got home, I think in the middle of January and had his third heart surgery at the end of March. And after that third heart surgery, that's when we kind of started to see him change a little bit more. He started talking a little bit more and not talking, he started babbling and making more sounds. Cause if you'll notice in all of these clips, he hasn't really made any noise. And we didn't really hear anything from him until after that third heart surgery. Hi. Cutie boy. Hello. Hello. Oh, you sleepy. Oh, my. I swear I will The 
last two videos I have for this trip down memory lane video right now is a couple of days after Sebastian had his third heart surgery. He was still figuring out how to breathe and how to process how his body was working now with his new heart and the new corrections. So they're a little stressful watching him. I feel stressed watching him because you can tell that he was kind of worked up and anxious. But those are the two videos I have and I think I'm gonna end it there for now just because right now in real time, my throat is kind of getting even more sore from talking and I can tell that Sebastian is not himself. So I'm gonna go give him a bath, kind of open up his sinuses and just relax him. But if you have enjoyed this video, let me know if you want to continue seeing old memories from after his third open heart surgery when he kind of started to change a little bit more. I love looking at old videos these are all moments that I don't think that I've ever shared. They're just saved on my phone. So I don't know that anybody has seen most of these moments. Very special to us. I look at them often and I just thought, you all know Sebastian for who he is now. And I wondered if you would like to see him like where he started. So just let me know if this video was something that you enjoyed and if you want to see more. It's okay. Hey, relax. Hi. <laughs> it's okay. Relax. What you got there? Also, my original plan for today was to do a fun little craft with Sebastian. As you guys know, I like to collect like Mexican decor, cups, bowls, all of that stuff. And Gio had a good idea that if we took some of these cups and had Sebastian paint them, we wanted to give them to some family members. But we also thought just because you guys love on us so, so much, I can't even tell you how much joy it brings me connecting with you guys and just you guys being here on our journey. So we thought that Sebastian could paint some of these and maybe somehow we could figure out a way to like pick five people randomly to send one of Sebastian's arts and craft cups to. I don't know. I absolutely definitely don't want to get lost in the way that most YouTubers get lost where they get a big following and they start doing like giveaways and start doing weird stuff and sponsorships and you just get distracted from our purpose. I don't want it to feel like that, but I also feel like if I just want to say thank you, I want to give some of you a piece of us in some way. So I thought how fun it would be if we could just, Sebastian's crying, so I have to speed this up. He's okay, he's just ready for some snuggles. But we just thought it would be a good idea to maybe have Sebastian paint some of these, and we'll just pick a couple random people to say, to say thank you and send them to. I don't know. We're still thinking about it. Also, let me know in the comments below if that is something that you guys would like. Obviously, it would be more of an arts and craft for us to kind of get Sebastian's brain working and active, but why not? send a couple to a couple people. I don't know, let me know. I'm going to go snuggle with Sebastian. I can tell that he needs it. He's not feeling great. I'm not feeling great. I don't know if I'll vlog the rest of the day. Like I said, my plan was to do these cups with Sebastian. So if he ends up feeling better later, maybe we'll do that. If not, maybe he's feeling better tomorrow and we'll try to do that. That's still something that, again, we wanted to do with him. We wanna give some to the family members. I wanna see Sebastian's brain work and pick up the paint and you know put his handprints on the cup that's something that we wanted to do too but I don't know that we're gonna be able to do that today we'll see but let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you want me to somehow figure out how to send a couple of you a cup with Sebastian's drawings on it all right guys take care thanks for being here we'll see you later or we'll see you tomorrow Are you okay my love you got a low stuffy nose too yeah I hear it Oh my, you showing everybody how stuffy your nose is? Yeah, I know, let's go take a bath, let's go take a bath. We'll see you guys soon.